My people, wonder shall never end. They say KBAC was in shock, as in serious shock. Hey, you see all of this all is here. Oh, I pity KBAC, oh, serious like pity KBAC. They say their secrets are now coming out small, 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 small. And let me tell you, it's KBAC that is causing all of these things, because I believe that if he is serious with uh, these women, they will not be doing all these things they are doing in the palace. And this secret that we are about to share with you right now is coming out because KBC was very serious when he said Toby should go back to her father's house and learn some manners before returning back to the palace. At first, she thought KBC was joking, you know, that uh, it was going to be business as usual. But right now, the say KBC is serious over the fact that he's unable to reach Queen Naomi and things are things is spoiling for him. And he is looking for who to push the blame to. And believing that uh, Toby was the one who uh, collected the passport, Queen Naomi's passport and Tade Nikawa's passport, and sent it to Queen Naomi's mother, the Sekabiesi's anger is on Olori Toby. And that is the reason, plus other things that she has been doing ever since she returned back, that that is one reason why uh, Kabiesi have decided that she must go back to her family house. Now, uh, instead of her going back to her family house, she knows the humiliation that comes with that. She decided to open her mouth and speak. And right now, her confession have also exposed Igbi and the blue blue. You know that for 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 some time now, it looks as if these two uh, are quiet. People are not hearing what they as in all their evil actions in the palace and everything. So, Kabi uh, Olori Toby, from what we heard, allegedly said that that uh, envelope that the that they saw her holding uh, through the CCTV camera is not the passport. That sh she went there for another thing. That there is that particular envelope, that the reason why she entered there, she was looking for the, uh, kind of the, the land document. The land we are talking about happens to be that uh that's Queen Naomi's land where they said precious stones were discovered. You know that KBC was the one holding the document before now. But ever since KBC changed the ownership to Queen Naomi, they said he handed over the document to Queen Naomi. You know? So of course he knows that the palace is not safe. There is no how he would have kept it there. And this Toby of a girl, if all the information we are hearing about them is the truth, he have her, she have a way of entering KBS's chamber and getting documents that she wanted. Mm -hmm. But she's, not, she's always unlucky. She's not lucky all the time because the other day she went and brought a paper for that Abuja house only for her to find out that it was the old one. You know, KBS is very smart, though, despite the fact that they think that they, they know what they are doing. See this other old reason, they think they know what they are doing. But in terms of uh, money issue and all of that, KBS is always very smart. And that is why you see him giving everything to Queen Naomi, because he knows that this will be uh, more safe with Queen Naomi. And let me tell you, one, another reason why KBS is looking for Queen Naomi fight is because everything he has, he is willing it to Queen Naomi. So... When uh, uh, Kabiesi insisted that Toby must go, believing that she is the one who collected that passport, they said she told them that that envelope is not the passport. That the two people whom she saw the passport with, who uh, they, she also overheard their discussion, how they are going to send the passport to Kenami's mother, happens to be Igbi and the uh, Blue Blue that she if drops on their conversation that uh, that uh, there was a place in the palace from what we heard where the Olorus used to receive visitors maybe if they don't want the visitor to come to their chamber you know they will go there and receive the visitor so they said that day almost that day that uh, Olori TikTok entered KBS's chamber to go and check that document, but she became disappointed when she found out that it was old one. They said it was Igbi who told uh, them that KBS, that that land is big enough that even if they divide it, okay, they said they have divided it already. 
But Kabi still decided to give it, give everything to Queen Naomi. Maybe he was doing that so that Queen Naomi's anger will come down. I don't know. So Toby was going there. Okay, Toby went there to look for the papers. Had it been she got hold of the papers, according to her, she would start uh, kind of go and claim some portion from the land. That is what she was planning. But unfortunately, the paper that she saw happens to be the old one, not the original one. So, when she came out, she was going to meet Igby to tell her that uh, she did not see the paper, which means they are working together. They all know about it, but they sent her because they believe that she's a street girl. She knows how to run things like that very easily, you know. So, when she went there and was disappointed, they said she was coming back to come and tell them that uh, she couldn't find the, the papers to the land, the documents, because all of them, they are all interested in that land. They are disturbed over that land. If they have their way, they will uh, push KBSC into going back to collect those things from Quinomi, especially that land. You know how much Quinomi will be making from that land. So they said she was coming out, and when she overheard the two of them discussing about Quinomi's passport with Tadenikawu, how uh, they have collected it and how they will send it to Queen Naomi's mother. But she decided to keep quiet all this while because it's none of her business. And she thought that uh, it's, it's going to be business as usual, where, when KBSC will just be angry at the end of the day when you touch him to some part and uh, he will just forget about everything that he has said, you know. But now he, she has found out that KBSC is very, very uh, serious about that case. That was how they said she exposed Igby and Blue Blue, telling KBSC to go and ask them what happens to that passport, that she is not the one. Because right now it looks as if uh, uh, two of them are just keeping quiet, expecting her to accept what she did not do, that she was not the one who collected that passport. Even though she saw the passport, but she did not touch it, that the two of them are the ones who collected the passport, and they are the ones KBSC should go and ask. They say KBSC was shocked. KBSC was like, what kind of women are you? What what have I done to you? Eh? Did I offend you by marrying you? I did you to a favor. That is what they say KBSC was telling them. I did you to a favor by marrying you, even when you are older than me. And yet, all you do to me is to frustrate my life. Why? The second BSC almost shed tears when asking them why. But at the end of the day, you will not hear what KBSC did. And that is why I said that he is the one who is giving them the authority to do all of this. Because if they do something bad and he frowns at it and takes serious action against them, they will not repeat it. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.